right, what's up guys? Nick Chu Alvin, Derby City Mixed Martial Arts, and I'm going to show you guys a technique. I'm here with uh, Kurt Osiander's doppelganger, uh, my buddy Nico. Before we get started with the technique, I want to share something. Nico, how old are you? 40. Shut up, how old are you? 50. He's 50 years old, 5 0. Okay. Nico, how long, do, from here to your house, how long is that drive? 45. 45 minutes. So pretty long drive. So guys, he's 50 years old, drives 45 minutes to get to the gym. So I bring that up just because a lot of times people make a lot of excuses as to why they can't train. If you are one of those guys, good. You know, nobody trains jiu-jitsu to suck at jiu-jitsu. They train because they want to be a badass in the mat. The only way to do that is to train. So if, you're, if you make excuses about why you can't train, stop. So I'm going to show you guys a technique. Lay down for me, Nico. So I talk about it on my blog okay, all the time, and I talk about if you're passing. One thing that will help you out a lot, you know, uh, as far as developing a really good passing game, is if we can pass to both sides. So if I can continue to keep this guy, you know, uncomfortable from both angles. You know, if I pass to one direction, then he knows what to do. You know, he's like, okay, I just have to defend to this side. But if I'm passing here and then coming back here, back and forth, that may, it's really unsettling for the guy, okay? And it makes it hard for him to really set up a good defense. Also, being able to switch. So if we can counter his defenses and be able to switch and quickly go to another side, it's a really, really cool uh, thing to be able to do, and it's also going to be really demoralizing to the guy on the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to start. The pass is irrelevant. You pick the pass, whatever pass you want to do, okay? What happens is I pass this guy's guard. And, you know, a guy will typically start to turn towards you. And, again, you know, the basic stuff is to bring this bottom knee through, you know, and then get the leg back to get to a full guard of some sort, right? Okay? So what we're going to do is as I pass the guard, he turns towards me, Okay? I'm going to keep my weight down, and I'm going to grab the top knee and push it down as best I can. I'm going to take my leg that is this, that, if you look right here, there's leg that's close to the head, my leg that is close to his, his legs, I'm going to step up and put my knee down. Now notice what I'm doing, I'm actually, have, I have my shin across his legs right now, it's pinning him down, okay, and I'm here. At this point, I'm going to switch my grips, coming back to the bottom, like if his neck's here, I'm going to go below his neck. Grip onto the shoulder, grip onto the collar here. This hand's going to switch and grab the knee. And now we are going to back step. So I'm clearing the legs before I let this grip go. Continue to push. And now we're here. And the good part about this is now it's very hard for him to turn. And I can continue to drive in, you know, keep expose the back and look for that right there. Okay? Let's look at it again. So again, we're here. The guy. Whatever kind of pass I do, he turns towards me. He's starting to try to bring the legs in. Whatever he's doing, I'm going to grab that leg, and I'm going to pin it down, step over. Again, not just stepping over here, pinning the leg, put the knee on the mat, and using your shin and your foot to pin his legs. Okay? We're going to switch our grips right here. And as you walk around, keep that knee pin so it's hard for him to turn back towards you. Boom. And now we pass. So the benefit of doing that is... If we're here, you know, maybe maybe I can pass the legs, right? I can do a pass, boom, and I get here, but he turns into me, right? And every time he turns into me, he brings the legs back in front of me and kills me with it, right? Damn, okay? But you're clearing the legs, so it means that we just have to establish. So sometimes you can, you know, grab the butt, we can pull the leg up, this kind of stuff, to stop him from being able to turn. But if he turns towards me, if we can get to the other side, boom, right there quickly, Okay? It's very hard because he's committed to that side, and if I quickly change and go to the other direction, typically you're going to get some openings there, and he's going to be very weak on the other side. And you know, for me, when a guy does that to me, it's rough. You know, you're just like, golly, you went to that one side, you defended, and then he switched to the other side. It's demoralizing, wears you out, and uh, it's a, it's a really good thing to add into your game, being able to switch side to side on a guy, even if he's defending pretty well from the you know from a guard pass or whatever. So, uh, hope you guys like it. Drill it.